Okay, I gotta heal up to full, because God knows when I get up here, there's gonna be a fucking boss, and it's gonna be waiting for me, just waiting right there to be like, ha ha ha! Yep, what did I say? Fuck. This is, okay, this is actually really bad. Kill the tentacles! Fuck, maybe this is Japan! They got fucking tentacles! This could be, this is like, a new level of tentacle porn. Surprisingly, so far, these guys are probably actually easier to kill than the crayfish. Or, whatever the fuck those guys are, the... crustaceans. What do they have in here? Is there, like, a kraken trapped inside the boat? Did the fucking pirates decide they wanted to loot a kraken and carry it back to civilization to sell? Seriously. Because this thing's not coming out of the water. The fucking tentacles are coming out of the boat itself. Okay, fucking die. Luckily, these tentacles are fairly easy to fight. So they're not actually that challenging. So, we are bringing them down pretty hard. Come on, whack them. There we go, got a whack in. I'm gonna save that uber attack for a potential boss battle. If that was not the boss. And if that was the boss, that's a... Well, no, here comes the actual boss. Here we go. Oh, shit. It's the, it's the king crab. He's here. What the hell is attacking me? It does so much damage. I mean, it's pro I know it's him, but like, what was he hitting me with? Oh fuck, we gotta back the fuck up from him. I'm guessing it's the water attack that does most of the damage. And if we go back here, he starts getting the tentacles. The tentacle porn starts coming out. So we have to stay near him, hit him with um, our main attacks, and then back the fuck off when he does that, because otherwise it's gonna be massive quantities of damage to us. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Go back up there. You don't want to go up to the top deck. We want to fight this fucker. He's going to continue using his stupid spin attack. Okay, we don't want to be in the middle either, it seems, because if we stay in the middle, he's gonna they're both going to hit us. So we only want one of them to hit us. So we're going to move actually closer to one of the claws. Oh, fuck. Okay, I got knocked back by that. I wasn't actually fully out of the way. Not enough, at least. I'm gonna stab this fucker right in the eye. Back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. Yeah, I don't think I have enough healing to take the freaking Agaroth on. Surprisingly, though, Agaroth doesn't do as much damage as his fucking soldiers. Which is really ironic. Of course, this is just phase one. God knows he's gonna start using that acid breath ability, and then he's gonna really tear us a new one. I really need to get a shield, honestly. Because I don't have one yet. I, I, I don't think I can wield one, because to my knowledge, silver or whatever the fuck I'm using is a two-handed weapon. I can't use shields. Though, I don't actually think that's the case anymore, because I, I think I saw someone earlier using a shield in pair with this, so they might have made it a one-hander. In which case, I would gladly equip a shield, because God knows I need the extra defense. But I'm not getting the extra DPS. Oh fuck, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. We don't want to fuck up here. What the fuck is that? Okay, I'm gonna back up just in case, because I have no idea what that was. Oh, he's preparing the acid attack. Oh my god, that thing did a lot. That was actually kind of a ridiculous amount of damage. Okay, I hit him with a crit, though. Okay, so he's shielding... Okay, oh, okay, I see what he does. He actually lays it on the ground so he can avoid it.
Okay, fuck it. Move, 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 move. No, no, don't run in there. Okay, quickly over here. Oh, fuck! He changed his attack pattern! Okay, so we have to actually be very careful. He's not gonna keep it consistent. He's not, he's not that stupid. Okay, so he switches it every time. So we just gotta remember that every other time we have to change positions. I don't think we're actually gonna beat him this time, but I think we actually do have a chance of killing this guy. I just need to get my other supply of food from the bank. No, 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 no. There we go. I managed to evade that one. Move. There we go. I evaded it. Fortunately, that puts me in proximity of the tentacle. So, preferably, I actually want to jump on either side of him rather than go and face the tentacle. So yeah, I'll go back and forth like here. That'll actually allow me to hit him more frequently and evade the tentacle's extra attack, which is what I kind of need to be doing. Freaking Agaroth, die! Face thy wrath, monster of the Zs, the under Z. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, that was a very powerful attack. Managed to evade it, but I don't think we're going to survive very long if he does something like that. Because I don't know what his next attack chain is going to be. Okay, so just stay in the middle. Okay, so we're, we were safe. We stayed in the middle. It's going to be close. Okay, off to the sides. Oh, we managed to evade it. Sweet. Just in case. I'll... My guy's stuck. He can't move. Okay. Okay, I wasn't hit by that. I got stuck in his arm. Come on, finish her! Yeah, take that, fucker! Get the fuck off my boat! We actually managed to kill a boss. That's surprising. And we freed the townsfolk or the pirates? I think it was the townsfolk. Please be the townsfolk and not the pirates. Because if I freed the pirates, this entire thing was worthless. <laughs> Turns out those were the pirates. They're just like, yeah, let's pretend to be the townsfolk. Yeah, let's do it. It's probably a good idea. The townsfolk were all killed. They were all executed by and eaten by that terrible monster. And the pirates survived. They disguised, they disguised themselves by wearing fake mustaches and wearing the townsfolk's clothing. And now they're going to live in the city peacefully until I leave. And then they're going to go get on their ship and start raiding again. And I'm going to come back here. Everyone's going to be dead. And Lucy's going to be crying and bawling her eyes out. Because apparently we're both stupid enough to fall for it. Ah, yes. I did it. I did save them. I never thought I'd see my friends and family again. Sarah Doman, bless you. Are you heading back to the mainland now? Yes. Yes, I'll head back to the mainland, because there's... I don't think there's anything left to do in Ashdale. Oh, Makalati, congratulations. Sounds like we got quite an adventure. Do you think that those creatures were beneath the island that whole time? Makes my skin crawl just to think of it. I wonder if there are, are any more beneath the island. I dare say there are. Without their leader, they probably don't represent much of a threat. But it won't be a good idea to go back to Ashtail once in a while and help keep the numbers down. Um, you should have seen the size of their leader. There are all kinds of things lurking beneath the surface of the world. Things that most folk won't hurt. Return and run from. But you stood your ground, Lottie. You should be proud. Is there a reward? Alright, I nearly forgot. Here you go, Lottie. Yeah, I'm not going to let you fucking forget about that. If you think you can get away with not getting me a reward, nah, uh, uh. In questing NPCs that promise an award and then never give it to me, they don't end up, they don't end very well. We'll leave it at that. They, 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 it never ends well for them. Yeah, I'll gain some extra experience. Indeed.
dear God, I am at low health, so I need to head over to the bank, grab what remittal food I have left. I'm actually surprised that I was able to beat that thing with, like, the lack of food items that I had. I actually managed to beat a boss. And to be honest with you, that boss was easier than the fucking NPCs in the dungeon. Like, way easier. Oh, wait, there's another quest? Oh, let's talk to this guy, because maybe there's another quest. Well, it's been a long load, Latte, and you face many dangers, but you've shown true bravery. Now your journey's over. On this part of it, anyway. <laughs> it's like, now your journey's over. Come with me back to Ashdale. That's the end of RuneScape. You completed the game. You should feel proud of yourself. And there's a lot of people actually finished this first quest. I've got a little something for you. It's not much, but it should come in handy in any future inches. The Golden Ring of Potency. All that's left to do is wish you luck. Just remember that wherever you go, I'll be thinking of you. Why the fuck would... That's kind of creepy. Dude, I don't even know who the fuck you are. You're just the creepy old dwarf that lived on my island and spied on me from the house next door. Why the fuck would I find confidence or, you know, happiness in the fact that you'll be thinking about me as you're probably masturbating over in the fucking corner by that chest? Gee, that chest, you see the gold outside? No, that's not. That's just for decoration. He has the gold there to trick people. There's actually some killer porn magazines in there. We're talking, like, really creepy stuff. Basically, all the pictures. It's all the pictures he took of me in that fucking house. This guy's a creepy old bastard. Okay, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. Um, where are we going? Where to go next? Ooh, this, does that person have a quest for us? She's got a mark above her head, so I imagine it's got to have something. Let's go have a look. I uh, sent so heroes to assist us in the siege of Dahlheim. Will you give us your aid? What is Damonheim? Far to the east lies a dungeon complex, which is the source of the dark and strange power. We are helping bands of heroes explore this complex to unearth the deal with and deal with this force. Uh, dungeoneering recommendations. Uh, is this like a challenge, or is this actually a quest? Uh, or is it just gonna take me to Damonheim? It just took me to Damonheim, so it's not actually like. Yeah, it's not actually, you know. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not, actually. Okay. Screw you from Nick Guy. Uh, this guy's not really, you know. I'm not really interested in him. If you don't have a fucking name, if your NPC doesn't have a name and he's just from Nick Shipmaster, he's probably not worth talking to. Uh, let's head back to Traverly, because I think that's probably for the best. Um, head back to Traverly, and we'll hit up the town, maybe have a look around, maybe pick up some girls at the, um, at the ye house of women. But given the nature of this town, I don't think they have one. I mean, it looks kind of like a very domesticated, very kind of a humble village. Very humble. Very, very humble. Um, also, that is probably the coolest looking windmill I've ever seen. Or, yeah, I guess it, it's not a windmill, it's just a mill. It's a water mill. Um, what the fucking hell? Oh no, I hit the calf! No, I wasn't trying to! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, baby calf! No! I've, well, I actually dropped raw beef, which is surprising, because they usually don't. 